Hi, I'm Jerry and welcome again to Ask Bike Man. We're going to answer some letters today. Uh, one here from Anonymous. Jerry, how can I improve my performance and have a bigger... Okay, dude, check your spam folder. You'll find lots of information and some people from Africa want to give you free money. Let's move to something more apropos. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's interesting. Jay, uh, Jerry, uh, I got a problem with my bike where I pedal and when I stop pedaling the pedals keep moving. Okay Jay your problem resides with the gear cluster on the rear wheel. It's either a uh, free wheel or a cassette. So today we're going to show you what the difference is between the two. Okay this is a free wheel. So what it does is that when you're not pedaling it wheels. When you do pedal and it grabs. Now this piece is actually bolted to the hub. See so you got thread here. This whole unit screws onto the hub. And I'll show you the next one. Okay now this one here, that's the cassette. Now the cassette itself also screws to the hub but in a different way. Where if you look there is no mechanism. The mechanism itself, hold on resides in the hub like this so now we're going to show you how to install and remove them okay so now we're going to remove a free wheel free wheel is uh, easy to recognize since it's got a deeper dish in the front near the axle uh, or we have to remove the uh, bolt from the axle that keeps the wheel on the bike you need one of these sockets specially made for uh, they fit all Shimano's insert the socket Use a nice big wrench and unlock it. All you have to do now take it off. Now, since we're here and you've read this blog and you know how to adjust your derailleur, you don't need this anymore. To reinstall, very simple. Use this again, put it inside, reinsert, get all the way in, take this again, and that's it, you're done. And that's how you replace the free wheel. Okay, so this is a cassette. Now you can recognize it by the uh, by it being closer to the axle and uh, less not as recessed as the free wheel. What we need is of course another socket here which fits all Shimano's. Insert it in there. Now the problem is if we unscrew it, well of course the entire thing moves. So what you need is one of these, which actually grabs the gears and also gives you leverage. Now I made this one which can actually buy one at any good bike store. So I'm going to just go like this. There we go. Take this off. This is your lock nut. Now the first gears come out and these are the ones that usually get used up the, the, the fastest. So you can replace only these instead of the whole thing. Now when you're remove the rest, you got to be careful because you got a little shim in between there that keeps the gears apart. So make sure you don't lose this. Now in the cassette, now see that the mechanism is here in the hub. So if this doesn't work then you have to re replace the entire hub. Now all the indentations are the same size except for one which is smaller and that's your guide to reinstall this. So, you find a small indentation, reinstall, put the shim back in, take your little gears, find that small indentation again, reinstall it, take your socket and locking nut. Now we don't need it because, of course, take your 
wrench again and And that's it. You're done. So, that's basically it. Now you're going to notice that uh, I didn't have a hard time removing these, uh, the freewheel and the cassette. That's because I staged it. It's a bit harder than it looks. So you really got to put some energy into it. Uh, apart from that, it's that simple. So, until next time, ride safe and Godspeed.